Maternal and Child Practice Exam 5. Question 1. Which of the following conditions will lead to a small for gestational age fetus due to less blood supply to the fetus? A. Diabetes in the mother. B. Maternal cardiac condition. C. Premature labor. D. Abruptio placenta. Answer. B. Maternal cardiac condition. In general, when the heart is compromised such as in maternal cardiac condition, the condition can lead to less blood supply to the uterus consequently to the placenta which provides the fetus with the essential nutrients and oxygen. Thus if the blood supply is less, the baby will suffer from chronic hypoxia leading to a small for gestational age condition. Question 2. The lower limit of viability for infants in terms of age of gestation is A. 21-24 weeks B. 25-27 weeks C. 28-30 weeks D. 38-40 weeks Answer, A. 21-24 weeks Viability means the capability of the fetus to live, survive outside of the uterine environment. With the present technological and medical advances, 21 weeks out is considered as the minimum fetal age for viability. Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? A. Article 2 Section 12 B. Article 2 Section 15 C. Article 13 Section 11 D. Article 13 Section 15 Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12 the Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12. Answer, A. 21-20 Question 3, which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? A. Article 2 Section 12 B. Article 2 Section 15 C. Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12.
Question 7. The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 cm. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 cm. The correct interpretation of this result is a. Labor is progressing as expected. b. The latent phase of stage 1 is prolonged. c. The active phase of stage 1 is protracted. D. The duration of labor is normal. Answer. A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12. Answer, B. Strongly tugging on the umbilical cord to deliver the placenta and hasten placental separation. When the placenta is still attached to the uterine wall, tugging on the cord while the uterus is relaxed can lead to inversion of the uterus. Light tugging on the cord when placenta has detached is alright in order to help deliver the placenta that is already detached. Question 7, the cervical dilatation t Question 10. Upon assessment, the nurse got the following findings, two perineal pads highly saturated with blood within two hours postpartum, PR equals 80 BPM, fundus soft and boundaries not well defined. The appropriate nursing diagnosis is A. Normal blood loss B. Blood volume deficiency C. Inadequate tissue perfusion related to hemorrhage. D. Hemorrhage secondary to uterine atony. Answer. B. Strongly tugging. Question 7. 
The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 cm. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 cm. The correct interpretation of this result is a. Labor is progressing as expected. b. The latent phase of stage 1 is prolonged. c. The active phase of stage 1 is protracted. d. The duration of labor is normal. Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? A. Article 2 Section 12. B. Article 2 Section 15. C. Article 13 Section 11. D. Article 13 Section 15. Question 12. If the labor period lasts only for three hours, the nurse should suspect that the following conditions may occur. 1. Laceration of cervix. 2. Laceration of perineum. 3. Cranial hematoma in the fetus. 4. Fetal anexia. A. 1 and 2. B. 2 and 4. C. 2,3,4 D. 1,2,3,4 Question 7. The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 cm. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 cm. The correct interpretation of this result is a. Labor is progressing as expected. B. The latent phase of stage 1 is prolonged. C. The active phase of stage 1 is protracted. D. The duration of labor is normal. Question 3, which provision of our night? Question 12, if the labor period lasts only for 3 hours, the nurse should suspect that the following conditions may occur. 1. Laceration of cervix. 2. Laceration of perineum. 3. Question 7. The cervical dilatation t Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is A. Article 2 Section 12 B. Article 2 Section 15 C. Article 13 Section 11 D. Article 13 Section 15 
Question 12. If the labor period lasts... Question 7. The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 cm. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 cm. The correct interpretation of this result is Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? Question 12. If the labor period lasts only for three hours, the nurse should suspect that the following conditions may occur. 1. Laceration of cervix. 2. Laceration of perineum. 3. Cranial hematoma in the fetus. 4. Fetal anexia. A. 1 and 2. B. 2 and 4. C. 2 comma 3 comma 4. Question 7. The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 centimeters. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 centimeters. The correct interpretation of this result is A. Labor is Answer, B. Strongly tugging. Question 12. If the labor period lasts only for three hours, the nurse should suspect that the following conditions may occur. 1. Laceration of cervix. 2. Laceration of perineum. 3. Cr Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. The cord has to be kept moist to prevent it from drying. Don't attempt to put back the cord into the vagina but relieve pressure on the cord by positioning the mother either on Trendlinburg or Sims position. Question 20. The fetal heartbeat should be monitored every 15 minutes during the second stage of labor. The characteristic of a normal fetal heart rate is A. The heart rate will decelerate during a contraction and then go back to its pre-contraction rate after the contraction. B. The heart rate will accelerate during a contraction and remain slightly above the pre-contraction rate at the end of the contraction. C. The rate should not be affected by the uterine contraction. D. The heart rate will decelerate at the middle of a contraction and remain so for about a minute after the contraction. Answer, A. The heart rate will decelerate during a contraction and then go back to its pre-contraction rate after the contraction.
The normal fetal heart rate will decelerate go down slightly during a contraction because of the compression on the fetal head. However, the heart rate should go back to the pre-contraction rate as soon as the contraction is over since the compression on the head has also ended. Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation C. Flexion, internal rotation, external rotation, extension D. Internal rotation, extension, external rotation, flexion Answer, C. Cover the prolapse Answer, B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation the mechanism of fetal delivery begins with descent into the pelvic inlet which may occur several days before true labor sets in the primigra vida. Flexion, internal rotation and extension are mechanisms that the fetus must perform as it accommodates through the passageway, birth canal. Eternal rotation is done after the head is delivered so that the shoulders will be easily delivered through the vaginal introtus. Question 22 the first thing that a nurse must ensure when the baby's head comes out is A. The cord is intact B. No part of the cord is encircling the baby's neck C. The cord is still attached to the placenta D. The cord is still pulsating Question 23, to ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered, the nurse's priority action is to A. Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions. B. Slap the baby's buttocks to make the baby cry. C. Clamp the cord about 6 inches from the base. D. Check the baby's color to make sure it is not cyanotic. Answer, B. Descent, flat. Question 22. The first thing that a nurse must ensure when the baby's head comes out is A. The cord is intact. B. No part of the cord is encircling the baby's neck. C. The cord is still attached to the placenta. D. The cord is still pulsating. Question 23, to ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered, the nurse's priority action is to A. Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions. B. Slap the baby's buttocks to make the baby cry. C. Clamp the cord about 6 inches. Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. The cord has to be kept moist to prevent it from drying. Don't attempt to put back the cord into the vagina but relieve pressure on the cord by positioning the mother either on Trendlenburg or Sims position. Question 21. 
The mechanisms involved. Answer A. The heart rate will. Question 7. The cervical dilatation taken at 8 a.m. in a G1P0 patient was 6 cm. A repeat that is done at 10 a.m. showed that cervical dilation was 7 cm. The correct interpretation of this result is A. Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 28. The normal umbilical cord is composed of A. Two arteries and one vein. B. Two veins and one artery. C. Two arteries and two veins. D. None of the above. Question 7. The cervical dilatation. T Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? <laughs> Answer, D. Flexibility of the Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation A Question 30. The second stage of labor begins with underscore and ends with underscore? A. Begins with full dilatation of cervix and ends with delivery of placenta. B. Begins with true labor pains and ends with delivery of baby. C. Begins with complete dilatation and effacement of cervix and ends with delivery of baby. D. Begins with passage of show and ends with full dilatation and effacement of cervix. Question 3. Which provision of our night? Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 21. The mechanisms involved. Question 23. To ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered, the nurse's priority action is to A. 
Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions. Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. Answer, A. Article 2 section. Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation C. Flexion, internal rotation, external rotation Question 23, to ensure that the baby Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. The cord has to be kept moist to prevent it from drying. Don't attempt to put back the cord into the vagina but relieve pressure on the cord by positioning the mother either on Trendlinburg or Sims position. Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12. Answer, D. Flexibility of Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation C. Flexion Question 23. To ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered, the nurse's priority action is to A. Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions. B. Slap the baby's buttocks to make the baby cry. C. Clamp the cord about C. Answer, C. Cover the prolapse. Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12. Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 21. The mechanisms involved Question 23, to ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered, the nurse's priority action is to A. Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions B. Slap the baby's buttocks to make the baby cry C. Clamp the cord about 6 inches from the base Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. The cord has to be kept moist to prevent it from drying.
Don't attempt to put back the cord into the vagina but relieve pressure on the cord by positioning the mother either on Trendlenburg or Sims position. Answer, A. Article 2 section. Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation Extension, external rotation. C. Flexion, internal rotation, external rotation, extension. D. Internal rotation, extension, external rotation, flexion. Question 23, to ensure that the baby... Answer, C. Cover the prolapse cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS and place the woman on Trendlinburg position. The correct action of the nurse is to cover the cord with sterile gauze wet with sterile NSS. Observe strict asepsis in the care of the cord to prevent infection. The cord has to be kept moist to prevent it from drying. Don't attempt to put back the cord into the vagina but relieve pressure on the cord by positioning the mother either on Trendlenburg or Sims position. Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies. Section 12. Answer, D. Flexibility of the Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation. B. Question 23. To ensure that the baby will breath as soon as the head is delivered. The nurse's priority action is to A. Suction the nose and mouth to remove mucus secretions. B. Slap the baby's buttocks to make the baby cry. C. Clamp the cord about 6 inches from the base. D. Answer, C. Cover the prolapse. Answer, A. Article 2 Section 12. The Philippine Constitution of 1987 guarantees the right of the unborn child from conception equal to the mother as stated in Article 2 State Policies, Section 12. Answer, D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 21. The mechanisms involved... Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is A. Article 2 Section 12 B. Article 2 Section 15 C. Article 13 Section 11 D. Article 13 Section Question 30. The second stage of labor Answer D. Flexibility of the pelvis. 
The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vagina. Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation. B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation. C. Flexion, internal rotation, external rotation, extension. D. Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is? A. Article 2 Section 12. B. Question 30. The second stage of labor begins with underscore and ends with underscore? A. Begins with full dilatation of cervix and ends with delivery of placenta. B. Begins with true labor pains and ends with delivery of baby. C. Begins with complete dilatation and effacement of cervix and ends with delivery of baby. D. Begin. Answer. A. 1.2 cm dot per hour. For nulla paura the normal cervical dilatation should be 1.2 cm per hour. If it is less than that, it is considered a protracted active phase of the first stage. For multipaura, the normal cervical dilatation is 1.5 cm per hour. Question 45. When the fetal head is at the level of the ischial spine, it is said that the station of the head is A. Station minus 1 B. Station 0 C. Station plus 1 D. Station plus 2 Question 3. Which provision of our night? Question 30. The second stage of labor begins with underscore and ends with underscore? A. Begins with full dilatation of cervix and ends with delivery of placenta. B. Begins with true labor pains and ends with delivery of baby. C. Begins with complete dilatation and effacement of... Question 21. The mechanisms involved. Answer. D. Flexibility of the pelvis. The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Question 3. Which provision of our 1987 Constitution guarantees the right of the unborn child to life from conception is A. Article 2 Section 12 B. Article 2 Section 15 Question 30. The second stage of labor Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation. B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external rotation. C. Flexion, internal rotation, external rotation. Answer. D. Flexibility of the Answer. C. Floating. The term floating means the fetal presenting part has not entered, descended into the pelvic inlet. If the fetal head has entered the pelvic inlet, it is said to be engaged.
Question 49. The placenta should be delivered normally within underscore minutes after the delivery of the baby. A. 5 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. 45 minutes. D. 60 minutes. Question 21. The mechanisms involved in fetal delivery is A. Descent, extension, flexion, external rotation B. Descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension A Answer D. Flexibility of the pelvis The pelvis is a bony structure that is part of the passageway but is not flexible. The lower uterine segment including the cervix as well as the vaginal canal and introtus are all part of the passageway in the delivery of the fetus. Answer, C. Floating. Question 49. The placenta should be delivered normally within underscore minutes after the delivery of the baby. A. 5 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. 45 minutes. D. 60 minutes. Question 30. The second stage of labor begins with underscore. 